I accidentally became a meme, and this is that story. Hi, my name is Michael McGee, and you may know me from this meme. Hi, I'm Amber. I am the girl in the background of the meme. I'm Matthew Rosero, and I'm the guy who took the picture. This all started in 2013. Me and my best friend Matthew, we've known each other since fourth grade. Everybody knew who they were. They were really funny, but I hadn't ever like talked to them until our algebra class. It was my junior year, their sophomore year, and I sat by them, and then we just became friends after that. I don't think we had any assigned seating. I can't really remember how we ended up sitting next to each other, but I, we just did for the whole year. Michael said he sat by me because he had a crush on me. Uh, yeah, I mean, she she's a cute girl, so I definitely at one point was crushing on her. It was in October of 2013. It was a pretty normal day in algebra too. I mean, the booty had me like trying to going around Twitter at the time. So it was like during that week. So I'm like scheming up a plan to try to be like, yo, we got to get in on the hashtag. We got to see if he makes it money. I want to say maybe sixth or seventh grade is when we all kind of noticed that Michael like every time he would laugh or make some type of strain that his veins would pop. Me knowing Michael can make his veins bulge out, I'm like, yo, Michael, make your veins bulge out real quick and let me take a picture. And he's like, all right, cool. I'd hold my breath and, you know, I just flex my neck and head, if that makes sense. So really, you know, because the veins are getting cut off of their oxygen and blood, they kind of, you know, bulge out more. Also, you're kind of killing brain cells with it because you're cutting off the oxygen flow to your brain. So it's not the smartest thing to do. He took it at 12.04. And I saw him like making the face and I was like, what? <laughs> what is he doing? Then I just snuck my phone, posted a picture, and then I just left it alone. I'm going back to what I was in and then I would just see throughout the day that I'd get a couple likes, a couple retweets. It was funny, everyone in the class like saw it and they all laughed. But it was nothing as to what happened two months later. We're on Christmas break in December and I went to sleep one night, you know, my phone on the charger, and I woke up and my phone was, you know, really scorching hot. So I thought like my power outlet like short circuited or something and then I look on my phone and it has like the 20 plus notification on your Twitter icon and I saw that a guy on Reddit, a Redditor, had taken Matthew's tweet and like kind of pick stitched it to their own and it was you know when you're holding in a fart next to your crush and it just blew up like I had all these people tagging me in the photo like hey is this you? I had people like, yo, I can't believe this is you, blah, 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 blah. Overnight, I went from like 700 Twitter followers to like 3,000 or something like that. It's definitely been a universal meme. You know, it, it can be brought into any topic. That's, I guess, the beauty of the picture. You can like take it any way you want. That's what really kept it going. It was funny to me to like read all the comments on like Reddit and Imgur and all that. Like there were quite a few that like I'll never forget. When you're vegan and haven't told anyone in five minutes or where you've coughed three times and you're trying to hold in another one because you don't want people to think you have COVID. Personally, me, I might be biased, but I think it's a top five meme of all time. Again, that's just my opinion though. I definitely wish I would have taken it more seriously, copyrighted, uh, maybe get a legal team behind me, but you know, some new light with the NFT community booming. I noticed that uh, a lot of the other meme people that were in these videos actually minted and sold their memes as NFTs. The uh, overly attached girlfriend, uh, Lena, she went to Northwest High School. We were in the same track, we had the same teacher. You know, I'm gonna try and be like them and get on the foundation app and, you know, mint and publish the original meme photo, get some money. And as far with Amber, uh, me, me and Amber were always just really cool. Uh, we still hang out to this day. Michael and I have made jokes like before, like that we were gonna get like married and have it be like a meme wedding. And like everybody that was a meme was gonna be invited. <laughs> but we're just friends and like they'll say whatever they want on the internet. That's I guess the beauty of the picture. You can like take it any way you want. This picture is probably gonna live forever so there won't be a moment in your life you will not see his face.